And good day to this. It's my fossil fusion. Hello, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, this is a complete clusterfuck, but it's glorious. I'm 
didn't like how this uh, deck works. There was also... Um, it was also an idea I got from one of my Twitch chat on stream. Streaming every Sunday on Twitch and YouTube and after that. So you can just come and give me your deck ideas. And if I deem them stupid enough, I might actually make them a reality. So let's go through all of this. Starting with, of course, the most monkey, well, or maybe the second most monkey engine there is, the Invoked. The first one is Dragoon. So we're playing Triple Meltdown, Triple Alistar, and Double Invocation, so even if we draw Invocation, we can ser still search Invocation with Alistar, so that's basically it. We're placing, uh, we're playing Triple Adusted Gold and Double Dark Calling, Dark Calling can be searched with a dusted gold, and playing just one Dark Calling is not good enough, so we're playing three. Next, we have Triple Weathering Soldier for our fossil package, Triple Fusion, Triple Rapture, and Double Time Stream. I think it's quite self-explanatory. Miracle Rapture sends Weathering Soldier, Weathering Soldier such as uh, Fossil Fusion, that gives us access to any of our fossil monsters. Next we have the thing that actually helps with the Fossil uh, Fusion and the Invoked and the Evil Heroes, the Kaijus! One Jizukiru, one Doguren, one Gadarla, one Gamma Seal, one Kamongus, and one Radiant, accompanied by Triple Slumber. That's basically removal, in Kaiju's and in the Slumber. It's that's removal. Also, we have every uh, attribute in the world, so we can use those for our advantage with the Alistair package with the Invoke. And they're also high level, so with Withering Soldier, we can go into our high level infusions as as well. We can go into high level fusions with Dark Calling. We're playing one Revival Golem, just because we fucking can. I didn't know what to put it, so I put Revival Golem by the way. Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Imperm, because hand traps. As for the extra deck, we have one Mechaba, because Negation, and that's the most powerful invoked monster ever. One Dark Gaia, because we have Fiends and Rocks. One Malicious Bane, because we have an evil hero and a lot of level 7, level 7 and 8 monsters, which are actually level 5 or higher as well, for some reason. And one Skogios, because why the fuck not? One Skull Convoy, one Skull King, Akobladudgidos, this guy. Now, this guy is interesting because we can make him with our fossil fusions. We can make a fossil fusion, time stream it, and then invoke, and then with invocation make this guy. It's fun. One Megalonica because we have uh, a lot of rocks, and there are also herbs. One Purgatrio because we have Dogran and Ash Blossom is prevalent in the middle game. One Skull Wagon, one Skull Knight, one Skull Car, one Skull Buggy, and one Skull Bone for some diversity. And last but not least, Artemis the Magistus Moon Maiden. Because I didn't know what to put if I wanted to just normal summon Alistair and go Monka from there. 